Hello my loves, Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts and welcome back to my channel. Today we're reviewing Tunisian crochet hooks that I found online and you'll never guess from where. These are from AliExpress. If you've never heard of them, AliExpress is a marketplace of independent sellers, most of which are based in China, selling every kind of product you can think of. Now I've always lumped AliExpress in with like your Timus and your Wish and your Shein. It's so hit or miss whether or not you're gonna get a decent product, so I've never spent my money there. But I received an email direct from another crocheter who suggested I try them. They were pretty reasonably priced and I was like, you know what? I got time today, let's do it. My package just arrived a couple days ago and I figured we'd open it up and try them out together. Now, if you also love brutally honest crochet reviews, make sure you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel. I do consider myself a bit of a yarn snob, so you will find the best and most honest reviews right here on TL Yarn Crafts. Now, before we can even touch these crochet hooks, we have to pay some bills, starting with today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare lets you access creative professionals in the fields that you care about most. Their on-demand learning platform offers thousands of classes on topics like beginner photography, digital animation, and getting better at the ukulele. Maybe there's a software that you want to master. From Adobe Premiere for video editing to Notion for productivity, they bring you the experts that take you from good to great. Now, speaking of experts, did you know that Lee Sartori from Coco Crochet Lee had a whole learning path on Skillshare? Learning paths break a topic down to its most most important parts to give you a more holistic understanding of whatever it is that you're trying to learn. Now, Lee and I go way back. Your girl got receipts. We were on Knit and Crochet Now together. So when I saw her crochet themed learning path, I just had to click. And let me tell you, it is a gold mine. If you want to advance beyond the beginner stages of crochet, then this learning path is for you. Now, this is just one of many valuable learning paths that you're going to find on Skillshare. And you're just one click away from discovering that next level for yourself. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today. And we also have to give some love to our Cup of Caffeine sponsor. And this Bustello is putting in overtime today. Thank you so much. Now, our Cup of Caffeine sponsor is named Alan. And when donating, Alan said, I can't tell you how much your videos mean to me. I love them. I've been trying to unsuccessfully crochet or knit for years. I give up because I'm terrible only to return to the call of the yarn aisle once again. I've got it this time. You're amazing. No, Alan, you are amazing. You you put in the time, you put in the effort, and your skills will only continue to grow. Thank you so much for the support. It means the world to me. Now, if you enjoy my videos and want to support my channel, buy me a coffee. Who knows? I might shout you out in the next one. Now, let's talk Tunisian crochet hooks. I placed my order for these hooks on January 24th, and they had an arrival window of February 5th to February 11th. They actually ended up arriving on February 2nd, which is definitely a good sign. Let's take a closer look at the original listing that I purchased from. So you get a welcome deal, which is available to you if you don't already have an account from AliExpress. You just save a couple dollars on that first purchase. The welcome deal is $45.16, but after you become a customer and create an account, the price would go to $50.16, so you save 9% as a new customer. The photos themselves do look pretty promising. You're getting 12 hooks, cords, keys, stoppers, extenders, and you also get a case. And I can tell from the photo that the case looks a little iffy. I think if there's anything in this package that I'm a bit wary about, it's definitely going to be this case. So let's go ahead and get it opened up. That is some industrial strength packaging, but I'm grateful for it because I'd rather you have a little too much packaging and protection than too little, right? Removing the cellophane, the first thing that I notice, obviously, is that the case on here is like this cheap, awful pleather stuff. This is gonna get ripped and torn and stained and it's gonna look awful in like 0.5 seconds. So if I was to keep these hooks, I'd automatically be looking for some other way to store them. At least for now, at least for shipping, this is actually a pretty decent little situation here. Oh, it smells terrible. It just smells like it's been sitting in a warehouse for a really long time. Oh, okay, let's pull this out. Oh, wow. <laughs> These actually look 
quite nice. I'm looking at the finish on them. It's like a very high shine. So I guess that's the nickel plating. Then if I grab one of the hooks out, they're actually a really nice size and actually good length. They've got some good weight to them as well. Right here on the thumb rest, we're getting the size. We've got the cord connection on the bottom. The tip looks nice and it's actually got a pretty good point. To say that I am pleasantly surprised right now would be actually a bit of an understatement. These feel really, really nice. We've got a 10 millimeter on the large side and on the small side, we've got a three millimeter, which I'd probably never use, but it's nice to see that we have all the sizes in between. We actually also have a seven millimeter hook right here, which you don't see often. And probably because we purchased this from a company that manufactures out of China, they're not following the same US standards as we do when it comes to sizing. I'm really excited to see that. I'm really surprised. I kind of expected them to be peeling and chipping and not shiny and not pointy and not the right sizes. So we're off to a good start. Let's see what else we have inside the package. All right, looks like we've got some cords. All right, so here are our keys and our connectors. Keys, connectors, that's pretty standard. I will try them out on these cords to make sure they actually fit. But speaking of cords, these actually look like they're quite nice. You can see that there, it looks like the coated metal similar to the Chow Gu cord. So let's see, let's take a closer look. All right, and what are these little things? Um, oh, stoppers, great. Oh, that's a fun little look for the stopper. How stinking cute. Okay, I wasn't expecting style as well, so kudos to them. Now they don't exactly match the set, but they are these nice, um, brightly colored metallic type stoppers. We're gonna start off with this DK weight yarn right here. So I'm gonna grab a six millimeter hook comes out nice and smooth. I really like the length on these and the thumb rest feels great. I do wonder if over time the etching here for the size might come off, but that's an issue for another day. Oh, I just realized that these are swivel cords. Wow, another another notch in the pro column for these hooks. I am, don't be turning me into an AliExpress shopper out here, okay? We might've hit pay dirt just now. I can't even say that there's anything that I don't like about them so far. Like they feel really good. Like I can't scratch this coating off. So kudos so far, It's it's looking promising. Oh, <laughs> this is kind of nice. The feel of it is great right out the case. My thumb knows exactly where to go. I just want to keep making chains. I am a native metal tool user. I learned crochet with Susan Bates hooks and I've always used metal tools. So I just instinctively reach for metal tools for Tunisian crochet as well. And there just aren't a lot of metal Tunisian crochet hooks on the market right now. I'm currently hoping to develop some and there's a set from Addy and also a set from Sorella that are available. The Addy have more of a boy hook head, whereas these certainly have either a Susan Bates or at least a hybrid hook head, I would say. And the Sorellas are basically like a Susan Bates hook with a Tunisian crochet connection. Those are my babies. Like I use those almost exclusively right now, but these are, these are giving them a run for their money. And at pff, less than half the price, honey, <laughs> honey. <laughs> Listen, I can mess with a good deal and these are feeling a lot like a good deal right now. So I'm just wrapping up my forward pass and that was a breeze. The gauge is really consistent throughout. I'll grab my gauge tool and actually check the sizes just to make sure those are accurate. But for right now, it feels really, really nice. There's a lot to really like about these hooks. The hooks feel nice. The cord connection is not giving me any issue. And you can see the cord here. It was just all curled up inside the package. It's probably been sitting in that package for months and it just unkinked all by itself. All right, now the moment of truth is going to be trying out pearl stitches. So let's try a little bit of honeycomb on that next row and see if I can grab my pearl stitches just fine too. So we're gonna simple one, purl one. So yarn to the front, insert yarn to the back and over. Oh, oh, that was like butter, baby. Oh, that was so good. Let's try it again. 
see if that was a fluke. No, no, it was not. Whoa. You could not have told me yesterday that a $45 set of hooks from AliExpress was going to outperform some of the other hooks that I have in my collection because there are, there are a few sets that I can think of that I would reach for these first. That's lovely. It's giving me really even and gorgeous tension. I have literally no complaints. So this was the six millimeter crochet hook. I have some bulky weight yarn here as well that I wanna give it a try. I'm gonna go ahead and put that 10 millimeter hook on the same cord and see with a little swatch test if those hooks can hold up to this chunky yarn. I wanted to give it two rows before I even said anything. What I'm gonna say, these are some really nice hooks. I'm gonna run two more quick tests. I wanna get my gauge tool to make sure these sizes actually work. And I wanna try these out with my mindful cords because they have the same kind of connection as my Knitter's Pride cords. And I wanna see if they're interchangeable. First, let's look at the gauge. So I've got my 10 millimeter out. I think I'll grab the six and a half millimeter. And let's also grab the four millimeter. Got my four millimeter size. And if you're curious, this gauge tool is from Coco Knits. Look, I like form and function and they always have it in their accessories. So you should definitely check this out. This thing is so cute. We've got the four millimeter size. I'm going to go in with the cord connector side, put it through there. Oh, it's not quite fitting in there. It's looking like it's a little shy. Oh, no, here we go. It's going in. It was just giving me a little bit of resistance, but it looks like our gauge on the four millimeter is accurate. So let's go in from the hook side first, see if we're catching gauge here. Yep. Snug as a bug in a rug. That six and a half millimeter is fitting quite nice. The moment of truth, let's try the 10 millimeter. Okay, ooh, a little snug, but it fits. It absolutely fits. Look, I wouldn't have my rings fit quite as tight as this, but when we're talking about accurate gauge all the way up a tool, this is giving. This is 100% giving accurate. It's giving correct. The size fits perfectly. So that's really exciting to see. Lastly, I want to check that these fit with my mindful cords. Now the mindful cords are nice, heavy swivel cords that were produced by Knitter's Pride some time ago. And it does look like these hooks can fit on a Knitter's Pride cord. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see for sure. Cause if so, hmm, somebody's shooting for a 10 out of 10 hook rating. I'm just gonna say that. All right, let's see. Let's see if it actually fits. It is not twisting down. It actually seems like it is stripping the inside of the hook a little bit. Let's try it with another size. Yeah, they're not quite fitting. So these hooks do have an any, just like our Knitter's Pride hooks do, but they don't fit the same size as the Knitter's Pride cords, which is totally fine. The cords that these came with are quite nice. And as long as I keep a hold of them and don't lose them, I'll always be able to use these hooks. So it's a little bit of a bummer that the cords are not interchangeable with some cords that I have already, but honestly, not the end of the world because I've got one, two, three, four cords that came with this set that I can use just fine. We took a big leap of faith when it came to trying these metal Tunisian crochet hooks from AliExpress, and I am pleased to report that I'm gonna give these a nine out of 10 hook rating. I feel like these hooks could be the puzzle piece that a lot of beginner Tunisian crochet crochet fans are looking for. You get a strong product for a reasonable price that ships relatively quickly. It's ready to use right out of the package. You get everything that they said that you would, and it's a much better quality than I was expecting. But I would love to know, are these some hooks that you would try? Have you ordered from AliExpress before? What was your experience like and would you order from them again? Drop down in the comments and tell me everything that you think about these metal Tunisian crochet hooks. All right, lovelies, that was a fun little review. And if you come across other products you think I should try, shoot them to me in an email. I can't wait to see them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>